die andere genauso vernichtet. Sie sind Here, long before the Second World War, Hitler was speaking about his political opponents with brutality. Vernichtete, meaning destroyed. I am your warrior, I am your justice, and for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. The president's attacks are nothing new. Because they are the fake, fake, disgusting news. The FBI and the Justice Department have become vicious monsters controlled by radical left scoundrels, lawyers, and the media who tell them what to do, you people right there, and when to do it. Congressman Paul Gosar is echoing former President Donald Trump, suggesting that outgoing Joint Chiefs Chairman Mark Milley should be, quote, hung for his supposed disloyalty to Donald Trump. The rhetoric is eerily similar to comments Trump just made on Truth Social, writing, uh, in times gone by, Milley's punishment would have been death. A very dishonest person, crooked Hillary Clinton. And during that time, and dur <laughs> These people are sick. Pelosi is a sick woman. She's got a lot of problems, a lot of mental problems. Mike Pence, I hope you're going to stand up for the good of our Constitution and for the good of our country. And if you're not, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. I we will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. Yet this man, so full of anger, was once loved by millions. Slopes of the Obersalzberg was Adolf Hitler's home, the Berghof. And this is what many people thought of him. I myself had the feeling that here was a man who did not think about himself and his own advantage, but solely about the good of the German people. It's absolutely magical. It's the most beautiful place in the world. We are here at uh, Mar-a-Lago on the Bingham Bridge, standing up to represent our great president, Donald J. Trump. What brought me here today, especially today, is because of what we were hearing in regards to that they were going to arrest Trump. We're for you, we're with you, and we will stand to the end. I love this guy. He's done so much for this country, more than any president in the United, in the United States. This gets you emotional. Yeah, absolutely it is. You know, look what they're putting his family through. Look what they're putting him through. The man gave off such a charisma that people believed whatever he said. That call was perfect. It couldn't have been nicer. And even the Ukrainian government put out a statement that that was a perfect call. There was no pressure put on them whatsoever. But there was pressure put on with respect to Joe Biden. What Joe Biden did for his son, that's something they should be looking at. Good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. You never hear about that, do you? You have the hostages, the J6 hostages, I call them. Nobody's been treated ever in history so badly as those people. Nobody's ever been treated in our country. But the truth is that Hitler did not somehow hypnotize the German people. For this is a history that shows how charisma is created in a relationship. Hitler said that those Germans he considered racially pure were better than anyone else and many Germans believed him. 16 million people into our country when they do that. We got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world they're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia. Hitler, always filled with hatred, managed to make a connection with millions of Germans. The only president who says America first. I will stand and I will fight for any any leader who says America first. If, if Trump got arrested for the charges they're talking about now, uh, I would vote for him 10 times over, okay? Donald Trump is for America and he fights for Americans. The far left doesn't like that and so that's why they keep attacking him. This seemingly unlikely figure generated a level of charismatic attraction that is almost without parallel in history.